haven't eaten at all all day and I am now absolutely starving. It is 1.48 a.m. I'm still in the centre of Milan. There's no cars on the street at all. And look at this in the shop window. That is just cruel. Right, update. The Milan Cathedral is just through there. There's like a big open thing, but it's got a roof on it. So as you can see on that clock up there, the time now is nearly 10 to 3 a.m. My plan for tonight and where I'm gonna settle is actually under here. So there's actually a few homeless people under here. There's one over there, there's one over there, and there's also a guy over there. So it looks like security still in the Prada shop. This homeless guy's got the door for Versace. Good choice, mate. So I am gonna take Louis Vuitton to be in a pair of Louis PJs in bed. How much are they? 17.50, you're gonna laugh. Right, this is me, the bags under here, the Louis shop. I'm gonna see if I can get some hours. I'll see you in the morning. <laughs> right, morning, we're back. We're by the cathedral again. One thing about that cathedral, it is that nice. It never gets old. I've just been sitting here trying to wake up, trying to get some fresh air. Like, literally, look at these bags. My hair's a bit greasy as well now. Oh, I'm so tired. Right, so I'm gonna head over to this cafe. Flipping egg. I hope he thinks I look all right, because it's like a posh, nice cafe in the center of Milan. I don't know what the plan is. I don't know how long I'm gonna be working there. I don't know how much he's gonna give me. He might not even let me work. I don't know. We're gonna head over there now. I'm getting to the cafe now, and honestly, I'm so tired. I look tired, I keep yawning. I really don't know how this is gonna work, if I'm honest. Like, yesterday he was in a black shirt and black trousers, and I got trainers and jeans on. I really don't know how this is gonna work, but we'll find out. Right, I've just got here now. Cafe Terra. Wish me luck. <laughs> The guy who worked here yesterday, okay. is he here today? Uh, no, he's come later. Ah, okay, what time later do you think? Um, 11. Ah, okay, I'll pop back in a bit then. Okay. Cheers, thank you very much. Well, I could have done without that this morning. She said 11, he said 10, but he's not here, so maybe I'll have to just come back later. The time now is 10.57, so I've walked around the block a couple of times. I'm walking back and hopefully he'll be there. Is he still not in yet at all? Uh, no. Uh, ah, okay. He's I, I, late and I don't know. Ah, either, okay. But um, next week, uh, if you can. Ah, okay. Because I popped in yesterday and he said to come in yes. at 10 a.m. today. Yes, you see. but uh, I, uh, we don't know. You don't know. What time he arrives? Ah, okay. No problem. So I'll pop back in a bit anyway. No problem. Thanks okay. for your help anyway. Cheers. Yeah, Thank I you. Like I tell you what, I am absolutely gutted about that. I was thinking if I can get that couple of hours working at the start of the day, that would set me up for the day with like food, a hotel or a hostel or something. But guess what, it didn't happen. It's not the first time and it certainly won't be the last. Right, before I decide what I'm gonna do next, I'm just gonna go and have a play with the drone. Right, so what I want to do now, to be honest, I ate well last night and I'm not actually that hungry at the minute. I, I am going to get hungrier later, I'm sure, but I'm just not at the minute. However, I am really tired. So you know what that means? I am going to try and sleep in another spa. Let's try and find one. Hotels that include an indoor pool. Jesus, they're expensive. Wow. Hotels in Milan are expensive. Like, look at some of the prices of them. Like, 800, 700, 600, 500. They're expensive to be fair there's a few of them all in like the same sort of patch and they're like 20 minutes walk from here so I'm gonna head over to well, I'm just gonna head over in that direction whichever one I come up with first I'll give a go right I'm just coming up to the first place now there's loads of like designer shops and all sorts around here it's a serious place right here we go spa right it says it's downstairs look at this place 
It's proper posh, this. I think it's through here. Spa there. Is it possible to see the facilities because I've just arrived? If Is you want okay? to just the sea, yes. Okay, great. And the pool is just there. Yes. So it's, it's open now, yeah? Yes, yes, yes. Okay, it's great. open, but we don't have the... Um, the lights. Yes. Where are the changing rooms and things like that? We have the changing change? rooms, but the normally the guests in our hotel, she's coming in the spa with the robe and the sleeper. If I don't go to back to my room to get changed, can I use the other changing room? Or? Yes. Okay, great. If you great. want to use the changing rooms, yes. Ah, okay, great. You what? bring in with, the, with you the robe and the sleeper, and it's possible changing directly in the Ah, okay, so there's rooms. no robes there. I would have to get my own yes, robe. Yes, yes. Uh, you wouldn't have any spare we robes? Have the tower and the sleeper. Ah, okay, you haven't got any yes. robes here. Yeah. Ah, okay, no problem. Thank you okay. very much. So long story short with that hotel, she said guests normally come down from their room in their robe and they've got no robes there. I could have used the other changing room, but there's no robes there. Going back there is an option, but I'm going to try this other place, which is like round the corner first. So as I'm walking to the next spa, I think this road is like the fashion, like high street. Because like over there you've got Burberry, Dior, Versace's just back there, Gucci. There is so much money around here. Just like the suits people are wearing, you can just tell they're expensive. This road is definitely like the Rodeo Drive of Beverly Hills, like in a sort of world of its own. And by no surprise, the next hotel I'm going to try is actually the most expensive one in the centre of Milan. And it's like right in the heart of this like fashion district area. How the hell is this going to go? I'm actually a bit nervous for this. Excuse me, do you know where the spa is here at all? Yes, follow um, me. Perfect, thank you very much. Thank you very much for your help. You're welcome. Thank you very much. I've just arrived. I just okay. want to see the facilities and just see from there if that's okay. Yes, sure. That's great. Thank you very Let me much. Show you. This is the main area with okay. inside the steam room and the finished sauna. Can open. I just go and see sure, that? Is that okay? Thank you very much. Ah, okay, that's great. And where did you say the sauna and steam room was? Sorry. This is the steam room. Ah, sorry, yeah. And this is the sauna. And the sauna's just there. That's great. So are the robes in the... In the lockers. In the lockers. Am I okay to use this now, or...? Yes, sir. Perfect, Are that's you staying great. here with us I as am, a yes, guest? Yeah. Yeah. So, yes, robe, slippers, towel and slippers. Robe. That's great. Thank and you so to much. to close it, you just need to push C. Yeah. Four numbers that you choose and the key. That's great. Thank and you so much. Absolutely gutted about that. So I did completely get away with it by giving her my name and that was completely fine But I don't know it was just if she checked and then it didn't come good And then she comes back down and I'm like in the pool and she brings the manager. It's just not worth the risk I don't know. I'm a big believer in going with my gut. My gut just told me something just didn't feel right about that I've got to say though that was the nicest spa I have ever been into. It was ridiculous I am gutted I couldn't use it. I just checked on booking.com and that same hotel, right? The top suite is £6,000 a night for a suite. Six grand. So there's one more five star spa I want to try while I'm in this area. After that, if this doesn't work, I'm calling the spa a day. Right, where do I go around here? I'm looking like a lost cause at the minute. Excuse me, do yeah. you know the spa is at all? Yes, of course, ah, in okay. the third floor. Third floor, yes. Yeah, that's great, thank you very much. Right, so apparently the spa's on the third floor. Number three, Grand Spa and Fitness Club. I've just yeah. arrived at the hotel. I just wonder yeah. if I could see the spa facilities, like the pool and things. Yes, I can show you from here. That's great, thank you very much. And now we have one client inside, so I cannot uh, give you a tour inside. I don't want to disturb. But ah, if yeah, you that's get fine, changed, no problem. Yeah. Then you get in. Ah, okay, brilliant. Yeah. Where are the changing rooms then? Anyway, this is uh, the swimming pool. Okay. And great. the back side, you, you cannot see it from here. Uh, you can, uh, you, there is some steam room and. Uh, yeah, no problem. Where am I? Is the changing room over here? Right, so I am in the changing room now, and it is proper nice in here. Like again, there's literally everything proper posh. The only problem I've got is when the lady gave me my robe and opened the locker for me with my slippers, she said, when I've changed, I need to go out, sign something with my room number and stuff like that. So again, I'm just torn. I don't know what it is with these Italian spas, but my gut feeling is just not good. So what I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna grab a quick shower because I need a shower, and then, I'm gonna make a move and not sign anything. Right, I'm just leaving the hotel now. Look at this. 
a Lamborghini 4x4. You don't see them in the UK. So today's spa hunt did not go as I thought it would. But that's what I want with these challenges. I want a challenge. I want something to test my judgment. And I genuinely feel like I made the right decision with those spas. At the end of the day, I did have a shower. I did want to sleep as well, but I'll definitely settle for the shower. Plan now, I'm heading back into like the city center where the cathedral is and just work out what I want to do next. Today's been a day full of no's really. Obviously this morning, it didn't work out, the spa didn't work out, so hopefully let's make tonight work. Right, I am back in the centre of Milan with the cathedral in the back. So the current situation is I have nowhere to sleep tonight and really there's nothing else lined up on couch surfing, Tinder, Bumble, it's sort of dead in the water really. And then we've got the food situation, which is basically I haven't eaten at all all day and I am now absolutely starving. So we've got two options, there's a Mackey's over there in that dome and there's also a Mackey's over there so we've got two Mackey's I'm gonna try the fast food trick the first time ever in Italy I'm gonna try this one first and if this doesn't work I'm then gonna go and try the other one I really really hope this works we just ordered and I'm missing a McCrispy is it bacon the it's two the bacon. burgers yeah we're missing it out the bag we miss it yeah, I'm missing it. We've just ordered. We've just had a big order. Uh, and I'm missing a crispy bacon. Crispy bacon? Yeah, the two one. That I... Two crispy bacon? No, 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 no. One crispy bacon. It's got like two say beef on say. it, isn't it? Ah, uh, okay. Okay, thank you very much. Ah, that's great. Thank you, you very much. Uh, no, that's fine. Thank you very much for your help. Thank you. So, first McDonald's, successful crispy McBacon. It's like a Big Mac, it's got like two burgers on it. Mm, they should definitely do these in the UK. Right, one crispy bacon down. We're gonna go to the second Mackey's and see if we can get some fries. The second Mackey's is down here, I think. We just ordered food and we're missing a large fries. You are there? Yeah. Okay. No, no, but I, I've already ordered them. But I, we ordered a lot of food. There was a few of us, and we're missing a large fries. Ah, okay. Ti mancano una patata grande. Yeah. Okay. Missing. Thank you so much for your help. Thank you very much. Thank Bye. you. And we got fries. At least this will keep me going for the night. I just need to figure out my sleeping situation now. Can you believe that this trick has just worked with the only two McDonald's in central Milan? Right, I have ate my food, I've listened to some music, I've chilled out for a bit. By the way, everybody always asks me what I listen to in my headphones. Obviously it always differs, but what I've been listening to the most at the minute is Queen, right? If anybody has seen the new film that's out called Bohemian Rhapsody, you will completely understand why I'm listening to Queen at the minute. If you haven't seen Bohemian Rhapsody, I cannot recommend a better film at this minute in time. You have got to see it, it is amazing. Now to find where I'm gonna be spending the night. <sighs> Honestly, I am so tired because I still haven't caught up on last night's sleep. So the reason I'm walking in this direction is because on my phone, there's a few hostels down here. So I'm gonna go and check them out. I really hope we can stay in one of them. Right, I think this is the first hostel here now. Hey, how's it going? Yeah, it's okay. Yeah, good. You need a key? No, I'm good, thanks mate. Okay. Right, so this is a couch area. That's reception there. The guy's already asked me, do I want a key as I was walking in? So I don't want to stay on the couch just in case he pulls me again. Right, I'm just going to try a couple of these doors and see if there's any empty beds. The only problem is though, it's nearly one o'clock. So I don't really want to wake anybody up. Okay, so that one's fully taken. That one's locked. This is an absolute disaster, this. What the hell am I gonna do here, man? Thanks very much, man, anyway. Okay. Have a good night. Okay. See you later. Now, these are the parts of the challenges that I don't particularly like. The time now is 2.16 a.m. I am absolutely shattered. Obviously, I tried a few rooms in there. They were all full. I did a bit of Googling before I left on the couch, and it was saying the airport is one hour, 37 minutes walk in one direction. I think it was east. And then the train station is one hour and seven minutes walk north. So I could do either one of them walks and stay there, but it's a long way to walk at 2.16 in the morning. Anyway, 
anyway, I'm going to end the vlog there because I don't fancy carrying this camera around central Milan at this time of night. So you're going to have to tune in tomorrow to see where I ended up. Wish me luck. Thank you so much for all the support and all the comments. It really, really means a lot. And I shall see you tomorrow.